Hi everyone! Today I'm going to show you how I drew this poinsettia using colored pencils. I drew this on Legion Rising Museum Mount Board 2 ply. And I was using Prismacolor, Polychromos, Caran d'Ache Luminance, and a few of the Holbein brand colored pencils. You can see me starting right in on one of these center petals and I drew all of these pretty much the same way. The only variation was that I used slightly different colors based on what I was seeing in my reference image. But I started off by indenting the paper where I wanted the veins to go and I did that using either a really sharp white polychromos or a embossing tool, like a stylus embossing tool. Then I came through and added my shadow colors. I was using a combination of mainly the Polychromos Dark Red and Mater. You can see in the first couple of leaves, I started off using a layer of the Caran d'Ache Luminance Black, but that gave me maybe too dark of a shadow there, as you can see, and I wasn't super happy with that. So in the remaining petals, I saved the black pencil for my second layers, which prevented it from becoming quite as dark in the shadow areas. It just didn't deposit quite as much pigment. And I found that to be very helpful. After I have all of my midtone colors laid in, I come over and blend with solvent. Then I let that dry and come over and put in my finishing layers and any details that I want to add. I was also going back and forth with that Prismacolor white pencil quite a bit to try to add some highlights. A couple of really important things to keep in mind if you are going to draw something like this, you do want to make sure you have some really nice crisp defining edges on those petals, otherwise this could end up looking like just a big red blob of petals. So you want to make sure you have a distinction there. And another way that you can create distinction is by making sure that you have some really nice good shadows on the petals that are underneath the top layer of petals. So really trying to make sure that I make those that second layer of petals really pop out and adding shadow is a good way to do that using the solvent to blend the pencils helps get rid of any kind of graininess that you might normally associate with colored pencils and makes my final drawing look much more paint like or painterly this is a petal that I worked on in real time over on Patreon, so if you would like to watch the much slower version of this drawing where I explain exactly which pencils I'm using, you can head over there. This one is available now. And yeah, I did one of the petals, one of the leaves, and also the center area in real time over on Patreon plus a much longer overview video similar to this one. I'm just continuing to layer here. I want to make sure everything looks really nice and smooth. It's a balance between wanting it to all look smooth and then also wanting to have some contrast in there. So that's why I end up working back and forth quite a bit. We've got one more petal here that I'm going to show you. Notice how I have a nice sharp scalloped edge there and you can see those indentations that I made for the veins really popping out. And then I can tone those down quite a bit with the solvent. I want them to really show up initially but then I want to make them look more natural. And blending with solvent helps me do that. Here I'm working on the center. This ended up being 
really simple once I figured out the technique that I wanted to use. I went back and forth between my embossing tool and one of my polychromos, kind of a golden brown ochre, and made some little rosettes, really. And then I used some of the Posca paint pen in white and gold to add a little bit of sparkle. That's an optional step there. And now I'm working on the outer leaves here. I'm using a very similar process that I used for the petals themselves. I'm just using green instead of red, basically. There is quite a bit more black in the leaves. I was using several different pencils. There's a Kelly Green from Prismacolor, also Kelp Green. I was using Chromium Oxide Green from Polychromos and Chrome Green Opaque. And then I was using some Light Sap Green from Prismacolor as well just to add a few highlights in there. And blending those with solvent in the exact same way. Again, just working back and forth to create those shadows and highlights. I wanted a nice dark contrast in these leaves, but I also did want to make sure that there was some shape there. I couldn't just draw one color of dark green, so I did work back and forth. And my final leaf to finish this one out. This one was a lot of fun to work on in the holiday season. Thank you so much for watching and I hope everyone has a happy holiday. Bye!